So what are we talking about today? Today we're going to talk about ionic properties and the dot structure. So we're going to see how these two will actually bond together. Oh, okay. I remember ionic bonds. Um, and so NaCl is one. So how do we how do we draw the dots for that? So you remember how in a previous video we talked about how if we have sodium right here. Yeah. Which group is it in? It's in group one. So how many electrons would it have? Valence electrons. It has one valence electron. One valence. And then we have chlorine over here. Yeah. How many valence electrons would chlorine have? Chlorine has seven. So together, that would make eight valence eight. electrons. And I do remember that like atoms want to have eight electrons. Right. They want to have that eight electrons on the outermost shovel. Level. Shovel. <laughs> Level. The, that, that was our octet rule, right? So, right. So let's fill these guys in. So we have one uh -huh. happy little valence electron right there. And then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for chlorine. So chlorine has seven, and he's not very happy. Right, because he wants to have eight. Mm -hmm. And that one over there that sodium has looks like it could fit right in that little hole there. It does. So what they're actually going to do is chlorine's going to say, hey, sodium, I kind of want to take this, uh, I want to take this electron of yours. But sodium doesn't really want to let chlorine have it entirely. Mm -hmm. So sodium's going to just stick around really close to chlorine. And that's the bonding part that happens. That's the bonding part that happens. Oh, wow. So as long as chlorine has that electron of sodium, sodium doesn't want to let go. So they stay right together. So basically sodium has none, kind of, and chlorine has eight, but they're bonded together. Mm -hmm. They're bonded like together. sharing that one. Mm -hmm. So... So now sure. <laughs> we're going to have chlorine that has its its total eight, and sodium is actually going to have plus one because now it's lost its electron. Oh, okay. So they're not sharing. They just it's it, like it lost it entirely, but it looks like hanging. Right. It, it lost it entirely, but it's like he's still he's still following chlorine around. He, oh. he doesn't want to let chlorine out of his sight. Okay. So okay, now I think I got it. So now we have. Uh, Magnesium, we have oxygen. So, magnesium here, we have two electrons. And oxygen, looks like we have six, because in group 16. So, let's go ahead and fill that out. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Okay. And magnesium has. One, two. Okay, so do these look happy? Nope, because oxygen wants to have eight, and it can take those two that it's missing from the magnesium there. Mm -hmm. Now, um, one, one way to kind of look at this is to say none or eight. They're kind of happy either way. If they have no valence electrons, or if they have eight valence electrons, electrons are going to be happy either way. So oxygen kind of taking slash borrowing this little electron right here and this one right here, if we do that, oxygen gains two and overall has eight. And so, the magnesium is happy because it doesn't have any. Exactly. Oh. So they're both happy. That being said, magnesium is still going to stick around oxygen and make sure that his electrons are taken well care of. Okay, I got you. So they always, it always ends up where like one has nine and then the other one has eight. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a one way to think of it would be uh, if you were if your best friend wanted to borrow your dog for whatever reason. Let's take him down to the, the dog park. But he doesn't really have a great track record uh, with animals, so you kind of just follow him around, make sure your dog's okay. <laughs> okay. It's a little bit like that. They always want to stick uh, close to each other. They don't really want to let him out. So all right, all that's right. That's his electron. I got you. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at these. Okay, now we have aluminum. So we have this in group 13, so we have three. Uh huh. And we have phosphorus, which has five. 
So, so three for aluminum. One, two, three. And then five for phosphorus. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so that one goes over there to the top for phosphorus. Okay, so you can come on over this way. Mm -hmm. This one can come on over here. This guy's over here. So do you think they're happy now? Aluminum has nine and phosphorus has eight. So yeah, I think so. All right. So now let's look at magnesium and oxygen. So magnesium has two valence electrons. Mm -hmm. Oxygen has six. So we have one, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So where do you think these electrons should go? All right, I think that that one, that uh, the top one for magnesium should go over the top. So oh, over, yeah, you just slide right over there, and then that one can just go straight across. Go straight across. All right. And we could have crisscrossed these if we liked. So it doesn't really matter which side they go to. Right, as long as the number adds up. Okay. Okay, and they're both happy, zero and eight. Now let's look at our final example down here. We have calcium. We have calcium and phosphorus. So not copper. Not copper. So we have calcium. And it has two electrons. And yeah. then we have phosphorus here. Phosphorus has five. It has five. Wait a second. Is there something wrong with that? Oh, yeah. Cause that, that one added up to eight. That would only be seven. One, two. Can we just make up one? Two, three, four, five. Well, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. We could pretend. We like, could pretend, but then where would that electron come from? That's true. So we could we could move one over here. And we could move one over here. But, but phosphorus isn't going to be happy because it still doesn't have eight. Phosphorus isn't happy. This calcium is happy, but phosphorus isn't. Well, if something like this happens, what we can do is whichever one is happy, we can just write another one of those and see if we can kind of make the other one happy. So we'd have to get another calcium? So I think we might have to try to get another calcium. So... another calcium okay. and calcium has two electrons, right. electrons. so one comes over uh oh well now calcium isn't happy no now now calcium's definitely not happy but phosphorus is happy so maybe let's add another phosphorus let's see what happens kind of feels like we're going in circles though, yeah oh my it? gosh this never ends <laughs> So it had five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this calcium, he's going to let this guy be right here. But we're still not there. Uh, Our oh my calcium. Gosh. Do we have to make another calcium. We have to make one more calcium. Okay, but this should do it because calcium has two and then there's two missing. He has one, two, and you're absolutely right. Right here and right here. So now we have two completed phosphorus and to complete calcium to where they're all happy. They all either have zero or eight. Wow, we did it. Yeah, we, we did. And uh, so now whenever we look at this, we have to find a way of actually telling people what this is. Because uh, so, that looks like a lot to draw. It does. Really, it is does. there like a formula we can write that just shortens it? There's definitely a formula. That's, that's the great thing about chemistry. It's all streamlined. Make it all real nice and easy. So we have one two, three calciums. Yeah, so that'd be CA3. Three. three, and we're going to put it right down here. Right down there. And then P2? There's two of them. Yeah, we have two phosphorus right here. We can put that two right there. So this is a way of saying, hey, we have calcium. We have three of these calciums, three different atoms. And we have these phosphorus, and we have two of them, so we have two different atoms. So these guys together, they're all happy. Wow. Okay. Well, that was pretty simple. Yeah. It looked kind of scary at first. It, it looks scary, but it's really it's not that bad. Yeah. Lewis dots are all fun. All right. Awesome.
All right. And I think that's about it for, for Lewis.Structures. All right. Well, if you have any questions, be sure to ask your teacher. Your loving teachers. <laughs> <laughs>